did my residency here at Robert Parker Hospital in SE uh, as an intern, and uh, the experience has been was a great experience for me in becoming a general surgeon. Uh, as an intern, I started not knowing anything about surgery and started first by learning how to take care of patients and the floors. And slowly we progressed uh, towards a second year where I could take care of patients in the ICU. And most of this mentorship uh, happened with your seniors uh, uh, educating the lower level residents and the attendants being there to supervise every uh, uh, learning experience as well as uh, operative uh, experiences. Uh, the residents have been really good because uh, we've been really good mentors to each other. Uh, they are very supportive and caring, and uh, that has really helped build up a sense of uh, collegiality among us as residents uh, during the training and also with the attendings. And that's part of the reason why I actually enjoyed working in a uh, kind of a rural uh, setting. What sets us apart from others, at least, at least, and I brag about this, is really uh, the level of uh, interconnected uh, relationship we have uh, among each other. We respect each other. Uh, the senior residents are friends with the junior residents. Uh, there is respect among the hierarchies, but at the same time, uh, we do uh, build friendships, uh, and this friendship is really what helps gives us energy when the work gets cumbersome. It makes it easy to uh, reach out for help. Uh, you're never embarrassed to ask any questions and uh, uh, you always know that your senior residents and your attendants are there to help you and they truly are there to help you and they do help us when we communicate with them. And they're, they're always available for us to reach out to also. A couple of the residents uh, lately have been getting uh, more into academic institutions for fellowship and uh, this has tend to be unique uh, in the sense that uh, in our tertiary rural care center majority of the times we have been uh, graduating uh, residents who wants to go directly into private practice but also lately we've also been uh, accepting and training uh, residents who uh, during their residency training uh, want to do a little bit more and want to get a fellowship. And most of these fellowships usually are in academic institutions where they require research. And we've made so much uh, uh, modifications to our training that it has uh, provided enough uh, resources to help residents uh, achieve their dreams or pursue their goals, whichever they choose. And uh, no matter how high you uh, target, trying to be a pediatric surgeon. We have proven that it is possible through a, a residency training uh, at this program. And the, the real strength to how this is possible is really because of the support we get from our faculties. Uh, they really help us try to get to our goals. Uh, they would sacrifice their time. They would write whatever letter of recommendations that they need to reach out to whoever we need them to reach out to and really keep us engaged and focused on our paths to help uh, align our training to uh, fit what we seek. And lately we've been getting uh, successes in multiple residents uh, matching into uh, academic institutions of their choices or into fellowships that they all desire, even when sometimes it looks to others as though it's impossible to achieve. We've shown that most of all of this is possible and we give a lot of credits to uh, the help from the faculties and their support.